Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and today in QuickBooks Point of Sale we are going to cover a very important topic and that is when you have reorder points in QuickBooks Point of Sale and you want this to help you in ordering more inventory for your store. Now there's a certain point in time in the evolution of your store where all of the products and all of the things that you have in your store uh, and reordering them, it, it just becomes too much. Too much to keep track of, too much to wrap your mind around, or there's too many people in the mix, and you know you can't have multiple people ordering things at, at different times unless you have a system. Now there's a system built into QuickBooks Point of Sale called Reordering Points, uh, as well as Statistics, that is going to help you know when and how exactly to reorder your products in your store because they are running low. We're gonna go through this now and it's gonna be really excellent for you because you just can't keep track of all of it. Come on now. Okay, before we get into it, I'm gonna have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. Join up there, ask any questions you want about curiosities or errors or request a video for this channel. People such as me and other Point of Sale users would be happy to answer your questions Otherwise, you can click on subscribe down below if you're on YouTube and get all the greatest videos coming at you all the time. Let's do this. Okay, I have my inventory list here. It's actually not mine, it's, it's a clothing boutique's. And I have added the column on here for entering reorder, reordering points. Uh, I find that this is probably the easiest way to enter reordering points if you didn't do it when you initially created uh, the product or the item and you can just fly right down you could you could reorder this by department or by vendor and try and uh, you know uh, you, you want to identify items in your store that you want to have in stock all the time these would be items that you constantly sell out of people are constantly asking you to have them or get them in uh, or they're just uh, like we see the department here basics uh, this department is primarily created by this particular person because these are the, the basic uh, things, the clothing that people wear uh, all the time. It's nothing special, but people buy it over and over and over again. Uh, like I could think of like socks, you know, t-shirts, uh, things that people are, they're very basic. People need them all the time. There's never going to to be a time where the need for them dies out because people just use them. And so whether it's commodities or basics or something that people just continue to buy, it's a necessity of life. You're always gonna want them in your store and so you're gonna wanna set reorder points. Now what is a reorder point? Uh, I'm going to move over to the detail pane here on a particular item and we can see here that this one has none as a reorder point. That means that our system that's going to tell us when to purchase this is not ever going to work because there is no reorder point. You've pretty much told point of sale, I don't want to reorder these. I don't want to get them back in when I run out. So that's often not are on your shelf for a long time or you're looking at the reporting menu and you're looking at inventory turnover and a particular product is not turning over, then you probably don't want a reorder point. But you can edit items one by one if you'd like and you can enter a reorder point right here three four five whatever now the reorder point is telling point of sale when this gets below four then I want to reorder because those last four are gonna go, probably go quickly or maybe if something's not going so quickly you want to reorder point at two or one or something going really quickly, you, you might want to reorder it at 15 or 10, you know, because that all 10 of them could go in one day or something like that if you sell a ton of them all the time. So that's the slow way. You can edit them one by one for the reorder point or the quick way. You add the column for reorder point on your item list here and you just kind of click on it and you can start, you can say, oh man, uh, all of these Suzette collection ones, I want to reorder all of these at three, right? There you go. 
So now that I have some reorder points in here and we can see that my on hand quantities are pretty much at zero for all of these. I'm going to scroll back down here. I also have some that are in stock, but hey, this one's at seven and the reorder points at 10. Now I'm going to show you how to actually have point of sale help you do the reordering. So I'm going to go on the inventory menu and I'm going to head on down to reminders. Reminders is a special dashboard. It has numerous tabs here about different reminders and things that you want to think about. We will go over that sometime in the future. Now on the reorder items tab, I actually have 18 different products that need to be reordered. And so you can see that the available quantities and the reorder points, obviously the available quantity is below the reorder points. So we want to reorder. And in order to do this, it, it's so great. Point of sale takes care of everything here for you. You can go on the I want to menu and you can say, hey, could you suggest some POs for me there? Point of sale, please. So we do that and it wants, you, it wants to know how you wanna do this. Now, if you say don't suggest any quantities for me, I'll do it myself. This, this may be the way that you wanna go because on each and every item, you wanna tell it, okay, I want 30 of these. Oh, but I want 20 of these. And I want 10 of these and I want 15 of those. You, you might know in your head, uh, how many you need for each one. Or you can say, hey, bring it up to the reorder point plus 15. And so if there's a low amount of what's being reordered here and you want it all to be the reorder point plus 15, then that might work. But when there's a whole bunch of different ones, like you might not want 15 of this one, but you might want 23 of or 30 of this one, you know. So setting this default amount over the reorder point can be a little troublesome. A lot of people will probably want to pick through themselves and set the exact ordering quantities themselves. It'll still give you the products that need to be reordered, but you'll actually set the quantities yourself. And then the super exciting feature right here is, um, and like I've said, this store has not been in operation for a while. You know, this is an old company file of, of a client of mine. And so if this was a store that was running day to day and doing sales and this last 30 days had been active, then I would, use, I would use this. And point of sale would actually help me order enough stock for the next 30 days, basing it on the previous 30 days sale. Now, another caveat to number three here is right now for me it's January and so I'm probably not gonna want to order enough stock based on Christmas time sales because that is a happening point in time during the year you know <laughs> lots of sales happening uh, in December so I'm probably not going to want to order January's stock according to the sales in December that you know that would be a little overblown uh, but throughout the year, usually, besides right now, you could do this, um, <clears throat> you know, and maybe you only want to order every two months. So you could say order for the next 60 days sales based on the, well, you know, you could even base it on the last month. Uh, so you could do that. Um, but let me just jump through this. I want to reorder items for all the vendors who are low. You can, if you like, just order for one vendor. You know, hey, I, I see we're low on this and that. I only want to do the Cadi, Cadian uh, vendor and make a PO for them. But you probably want to reorder all your stuff unless you're low on money. So I'm going to say, don't suggest any quantities. I'll do it myself for all the vendors and we're going to hit OK. Now, this, these are all the suggested POs and these are um, what you're gonna wanna do, or I'm sorry, these are all the suggested items to reorder, and you're gonna wanna go through, and in this mode, you're gonna wanna figure out what you want. I want 10 of these, uh, 20 of these, 30, 20, 10, 15, 10, and so you're going to figure out what you need of each item, 
just according to what you think you're going to be selling in the next month. And there you have it. I have pretty much figured out what I want of each thing. And now I'm going to say, hey, go ahead and create the POs for all of these items that I want to order in that I'm low on. So we're going to create POs. Seven purchase orders have been created. I want it to show me a list. I don't really care about printing. Uh, I do not have my email program set up either. That would be freaking awesome to just straight up email them all out. But I'm going to say show me the list and I can email them one by one. Just double check over them. Make sure they look good before I send them out. Uh, I'm not going to print them. I'm just going to say show me the list. Okay, so we've got this vendor. We're going to order 50. Uh, this vendor we're ordering 110 if you want to you can double click into one of these and say okay all right we got we have four different products here with uh, 30 10 50 20 all right that looks pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and send this to them yeah I, I think I'll do that and so you would either email it to them or send it out or fax it or whatever you do you know or maybe you're gonna actually go online and order it these days and so that looks good I'm I'm down with that so you send it you close it out and you go on to the next one and you send this one out you go on to the next one etc etc you get them all sent and there you go you've had reorder points and point of sale help you order what you need in your store because it is running low this is an excellent system because you can't keep track of a bazillion items all by yourself so if you have any questions or comments you can leave those down below and if this was helpful to you I'd love it if you hit the like button down there because I love my likes and and they make me feel special. <laughs> My name's Peter with Black Rock Business. I hope you have yourself a stupendous day. Bye-bye now.